This week, we're in Umbria, the green heart of Italy, known for its lush vegetation and its beautiful green spaces. Look at this town. It is stunning. It really is. This shot is from the city center, and take a look at that. All those stone buildings. This town actually was established between 800 and 700 BC. I mean, it's really unusual, very interesting. Wait to see this house. So this is not the town hall. This is not a museum. This is the house. I mean, look at that stone. It's really beautiful. And you have your own terrace with a gorgeous view. I would love to sit there and drink some wine. Salute. Salute. And here is an example of some of the architectural detail in this home. Original wood beams and terracotta ceilings. Just so gorgeous. We can't wait to show you this one. You will not believe the price. Let's get into it. All right, and here's the property information. We're in Toddy in Umbria. $85,000, a three bedroom, two bath, and over 2,100 square feet. Let's see where this one is. Almost directly north of Rome. Uh, you know, I guess we love, as I always say, our beautiful hillside towns. I mean, this is definitely one of them. This is gorgeous. No, it is for sure. And 16,000 residents, which means you have some pretty good amenities here for sure. There are multiple entrances to this property. This is two of them. Uh, here's a close up of one of them. I mean, seriously, the wrought iron, the stone, the arched door, even that light. Usually we change the light fixtures. <laughs> I would leave that one. This is beautiful. Yep. yep. So you would think being in the city center that there would be no parking. With this home, you have your own private parking and it's gated. You have a driveway, you have a gate, and let's take a look at that parking area. I mean, you could seriously fit four cars and a boat and I Couple don't know what buses. else. <laughs> uh, a donkey, something. <laughs> but really, it's a large space. Donkey. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. So here is a floor plan of this property. This is the parking area. From the parking area, you go through this front door and you're into this beautiful dining room kitchen area. So look at this space. The floors, the ceilings, even the front doors. It's so adorable. I love those wood beams. Um, here's a shot of the dining room from the kitchen. And if you notice, there's a door back there. What is inside that door? Ready? You are not gonna believe this. A washer dryer. A dryer in Italy. Unbelievable. Yeah, that rarely happens. Usually just the washer. Yeah. And here's the kitchen, nice size fridge, beautiful fireplace. Again, the ceilings, the floors. You have gas cooktop, it looks like. Looks like new countertops, too. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So this is a view of the entire space. And if you notice on the bottom right, there's some railing. That is a staircase that leads down to this cute living room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And here is a view of that cozy living area. The wood ceilings, wood on the walls, they painted over the brick. That makes it look a little modern, painting white over the brick. I like the it. The floors, and I think I see a fireplace over there. Yes, there you do, there it is. it is. So there is a fireplace, um, and you can see too that there is a door to the outside. So this uh, living space has uh, an entrance from the outside, which I think uh, makes the space very flexible. Pretty mm -hmm. cool, pretty cool. So here is the entrance to that space. Love those doors. Look at the arch. Look at the wood, the light, the brick. Ah, yes, it's please. So pretty. Yes, please. <laughs> so now we're back in the dining room kitchen area, and you'll see there's a staircase. This is that staircase. Okay, let's take a minute and look at this. On the right is unbelievable, beautiful stone exposed. Looks like really quality craftsmanship, I think, right? And then on the left, it's a glass wall, really. I mean, that looks beautiful to me. It does. It's unique. You don't see that a lot. And what's even more special about it is that it has a view of a medieval alley. Look at that. So remember, uh, between 800 and 700 BC, that's what? 
2,800 years ago. What was going on in this alley 2,800 years ago? I do not, actually, I do want to know. I do want to know. If anyone can tell me what was going on in that alley 721 BC, please let me know. Yep. And look at the bell tower. Yeah, you have the bell tower. You have another church in the background. I mean, this is a stunning view for it sure. It is. Yeah. All right, here is another view of that pretty stairway where you can see even the wood ceilings are carried through. It's so pretty, I love it. It really is. This is the stairway that we're walking up and it leads into a bedroom and a bathroom. And here is that bedroom. Look at that beam. That must be an original beam. For sure. It's beautiful. Terracotta ceilings, the huge, thick stone wall around that window that is serious you know that's insulated in there right? oh yeah it's going to be warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer so mm -hmm. i think that's pretty cool definitely i bet you could expose stone all throughout this home mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh the light fixture we would keep that one it's finally not... we found a light fixture we would keep usually <laughs> it's power and a bulb this one someone has really good taste they put a great uh, chandelier in there i'll take it i'll take it yep it works for sure the floors, I like them. I think they work. You could put an ivory area rug or something over them that would complement it if they were a little too busy for you, but I think they're pretty. And you know, it's a very big room. I like that. Um, I also like the chair ladder. Chair ladder, one word, chair ladder. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but someone must be really tall. Really tall. Or at least have a tall torso, something. <laughs> so here's the ensuite for that bedroom, right? Um, it has a cute bidet. I, I like that. Um, it has two rolls of toilet paper. You know, that's special. Maybe one's for the toilet, one's for the bidet. I don't really know. I'm still trying to figure that out. But, you know, it looks newish and clean. You may not love that tile, but, you know, you could definitely move right in there um, and fix it up over time if you want to. So here's the shower, a towel warmer, and there's that gorgeous chandelier in the background. All right, let's take a look at that floor plan again. Here are the stairs that we came up out of the kitchen. If you come here and you take a right, you are in a beautiful hallway. Look at that hallway. You can see the floors, the terracotta tile. You can see the wood beams. I mean, look at that window. That window looks beautiful. It does, and what's even better about that window, look at that view. That is so beautiful. And the Italian Cypress, oh, I love it. Yeah, I'll take it. You're definitely not in the big city here. No. No. So if you continue down that hallway, you'll see a door to the left. It's another space that they're using as a living room, sitting room type area. I'm sure you could use this as a bedroom, but let's pause for a second and look at that ceiling. That is gorgeous. I mean, the floors again, I mean, this place and what did we say this was, $85,000? Mm -hmm. I mean, what are we talking about here? This is this is freaking me out a little bit. This To get all of this for that price, and we're not even done yet. I mean, you know, let's see what we got. And again, the architectural details, the wrought iron, that stone, the ceilings, Jeez. those beams. It's simply stunning. I love terracotta and wood beam ceilings. I mm -hmm. think that's my favorite. And, I know, and this so one pretty. is... This one's perfect. So from this sitting area, we come back into the hallway. We head down the hall into another bedroom with another bathroom. Look at that bedroom. I mean, that is cute. It's cozy. You got great floors. You know, look at the headboard. Look at the lamp. I would change that lamp. I'll change that lamp. <laughs> and here's another view in that room. You can see that it's a pretty nice space. Pretty big. Yeah, it's decent size. Yep. Here is the bathroom uh, for that bedroom. Actually, I think you can access it from the hall as well. You have a towel warmer. You have a cute bidet. I don't see it, but I think one's there. I would say that there's a cute bidet in that space. Yeah, I yeah. think the listing says that. Okay, cute bidet. <laughs> Not cute bidet, but bidet. <laughs> So now we're back on the street and we're taking a look at this area that has the terrace. I mean, what do you see here? You see the terrace, you see a door, you see a cat over there. There's a cat. Uh, I don't see one, but <laughs> I'm sure there's one there because uh, we're in Italy. But let's take a look at the view from that terrace. Wow, I love that private terrace with that view. It kind of has a 
feel like you're in a park too, right? Look at all the trees. It's There's a lot of so shrubbery nice. around there. Right? I do like that. Yep. Is there anywhere in this town where we could buy a shrubbery? So here we are again in the street. Let's go through that door. Let's see what that door's all about. Okay, there's something in there, babe. What is it? Another living space with exposed stone and pretty floors. I really like this space. You could use this for anything. Yeah, here's another shot of that space. I mean, who knows what you could, it could be a gym. I'd probably use it for my recording studio. It could be a, you know, reading nook. It could be, I don't know. What, what man could it be? cave. It could be a- She shed. She shed. That's what I was like, <laughs> is she gonna say it? it's a she shed, yeah. But uh, this space is very flexible. Yeah. Um, when we first looked at this listing, I didn't know where that uh, doorway went there with those stairs, but we figured out that it goes to, um, there are stairs that go from the street up to the front door that goes into the uh, dining room and kitchen. This goes into that stairway that heads up. So it's another way to access the uh, main part of the building. So it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't noticed, we mix things up this time around. <laughs> We're getting crazy. Normally, we would show a couple pictures of the house and then talk about the town, how to get there. This time we showed the house first. Now we're going to talk about the town and how to get there. This house was so special that we decided to show the pictures first, um, yeah. but it's 30 minutes from the airport. I mean, that's pretty close, That's right? really nice. Yeah. And then look at all of the train stations. The closest one is a half an hour away, which is great. And then if you want to drive anywhere, Rome is a couple of hours. Florence, two and a half hours, and Assisi is only an hour away, which is beautiful, beautiful town. Okay, I like this place. <laughs> so you're in this town, what do you do? You probably will go out to a restaurant at one point, right? And there seems Most to be likely. about two or three, re oh no, that looks to be about 30 <laughs> restaurants, so. Yeah, there's a lot, restaurants galore here, for yeah. sure. Plenty to choose from. Here is a picture inside one of the restaurants in the area. Look at the view. I could definitely eat there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, this is another restaurant, so look at the stone. I mean, there's so much to choose from. Love to check it out. Mm -hmm. Want to go out and get a drink every once in a while? There are several bars in town. I think we counted 12, but that's an estimate. Depending on what the map shows, there's a lot. You're good. Yeah. You're covered with bars and restaurants for sure. If you wanted to get drunk in this town, you probably could find a way to do it. Yeah. But we don't recommend that. Don't do it. So what is the name of our channel? It is Wandering with Wine. And what do we always do? We find the closest winery, right? We do. Salute to that, babe. Salute. So this one is 14 minutes away. I mean... That's nice. You know, I'm sure you can buy some wine in town, but it's also nice to drink wine at the winery. So, you know, yep, take absolutely. Your pick. Just like Tuscany is so well known for wine, so is Umbria. And they say you get the true Italian experience in Umbria. It's the quiet Tuscany. Wow, I love that. Here's a picture from one of the wineries. Look at the wildflowers, the view. It's so pretty. So maybe you had one glass of wine too many. And you need to get some Advil, some Tylenol. There are one, two, three, four pharmacies in town. Perfect. You're good. Hopefully you don't need to know where the hospital is, but if you need to go there, it's 20 minutes away. It looks like there's about a dozen doctors in the general area too. So, I mean, I think you're all set here for sure. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, my least favorite map with all the little teeth on it. There's a lot of dentists in the area, so you're good if you have a cavity or... Uh, public service don't. announcement. Do not bite a lollipop. Don't... One, two, three. If you do, you gotta go to one of these places, all right? Yep. For all of those that eat lollipops. <laughs> I don't know. As you know, we have two little fur babies, Zoe and Maui, so we have to know where the veterinarian is. Unfortunately, there is one in town. Umbria is a beautiful place, right? So one of the things you can do to see the beauty is to go hiking. Hiking is 20 minutes away, so that's great. For those of you who like to ski like we do, it's only a couple hours away, and there's several ski mountains in the area. Take a look at that. It's like wow. you're skiing, you're above the clouds. <laughs> I mean, I could, you know. 
Wow. That's ski five times a week. If I right? Want to, that's I beautiful. Know. Beautiful. Plenty of grocery stores around, slash supermarkets, slash, what else do we call them? What's the third name for that? I don't know. Yeah, there's only two. And, but there's more than two in the town. Need to mail some things over to the States. There are plenty of post offices. If you have kiddos, you want to further your own education, whatever it may be, there are a ton of schools in this area. I mean, uh-huh. I, I don't think we've ever seen this many schools in, in one town before, no. really, right? We haven't, From not all yet. Our research. Yep. As expected, there are a lot of churches. <laughs> all the bases are covered. Yeah. End of story, a lot of churches in Italy. Yep. Everyone knows that, I think, at this point, but we throw it in there anyway. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about temps, baby, how hot we can be. So Jamie's favorite song leads us to the fact that ugh, it's 88 degrees, maybe into the 90s in the hottest month yeah. of the year. However, that's okay because at night it gets down into the low 60s. So you could deal with that. You know, yeah. Sometimes when it's in the 90s, it's like 87 at night. That sucks, right? So this looks pretty good. We can deal with yeah, it. Yeah, you get a break at night, which mm-hmm. is nice. Okay, so mobile and internet in the area. Vodafone and Wintray both offer 5G, and then there's 4G+, Plus, Iliad, Tim, 4G+, Plus, and they, most of them offer fiber solutions for your home as well. And then Starlink is available all throughout Italy. Yeah, one of these days I have to meet Tim. He's got 4G+, plus and 4G. I mean, this guy knows what's going on. You know, we'll He's check got him 5G out. in some yeah, areas, wow. too. Yeah. Okay. Way to go, Tim. <laughs> Does Amazon deliver? They absolutely do. Two to three day delivery for most items. That's what I saw, which is nice. Great. Okay, here's the checklist for this property, right? Um, It doesn't have air conditioning. I don't think we've done a property that actually had air conditioning. I don't know. I don't think so, actually. Um, But you could probably add air conditioning to most of them anyway. Um, It does have a fireplace. It actually has two. It has beautiful floors, terracotta floors, and the you know, the tile ceilings, the wood ceilings with wood beams. I mean, all of that is taken care of in this property for sure. Mm-hmm. So a terrace, yes. Beautiful private terrace. It feels like you're in a park and then you have that long distance view that's so pretty. Garage, no, but giant driveway that that's you right. could fit about four cars in at least. Yard or garden, no, and no pool. So I think that's fine. No garage, no yard, no pool. With everything that this property has to offer, I don't think that actually matters, right? No, I don't think so. It's just so pretty. It's a special property for sure. Yes, I love it. And so is the town. Yeah. So thanks for joining us again. This is actually our sixth video. Uh, We're really excited. We're doing one a week on uh, Fridays at 6 p.m. So salute to joining us. Salute. Salute to my beautiful wife. Salute to you, honey. So here's the property information. Uh, one more time, um, we're in Toddy in Umbria. This property is only eighty-five thousand six hundred dollars. And remember, that's asking. I think in Italy, you can probably get that for ten percent less or so. You know, I mean, that's pretty much the norm. That's what they um, say. Yeah. A three-bed, two-bath, almost twenty-two hundred square feet. Uh, tons of restaurants, tons of bars. I mean, this property for that price is is pretty special, right? It is, absolutely. And for more information, the link to this listing is in the description below. Yeah. Um, again, thank you for joining us, right? Um, please subscribe. Please like this video. It really helps us. We really want to continue to do this uh, for us and for you guys as well. So um, have a great night. We'll see you soon. Bye.